Hi guys, welcome to Learn with Med Nuggets. In this video, we will be talking to you about abdominal aortic aneurysm. Our aorta is 1.5 to 3 cm in diameter. Abdominal aortic aneurysm refers to the dilation of the abdominal aorta with a diameter of more than 3 cm. This happens due to the weakening of the wall of the aorta, which can be caused by hypertension, elastin and collagen disorders like Marfan disease and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, trauma, and advanced age. Smoking is the most common risk factor of abdominal aortic aneurysm. This disease is common in males who are more than 60 years old and in smokers. An important clinical point that you should remember is usually whenever an old male patient with a history of smoking presents to the hospital, always palpate his abdomen to see if you can feel a pulsatile mass which is indicative of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. More than 90% of abdominal aortic aneurysms are located below the renal arteries. Abdominal aortic aneurysm is diagnosed by imaging such as ultrasound and CT angiography. Most of the patients with abdominal aortic aneurysms are asymptomatic and they are usually an incidental finding on imaging. However, if the patient is symptomatic, first you need to check if the patient is stable or not. If the patient is symptomatic and stable, you could always do an ultrasound to diagnose an abdominal aortic aneurysm. However, if the patient is symptomatic and unstable, first you need to stabilize the patient and then do an ultrasound or CT pulmonary angiography to confirm the aneurysm. After confirming the diagnosis, transfer the patient for surgery. According to the USPSTF screening recommendations, all 65 to 75-year-old males who have smoked at any point in their life must be screened once for an abdominal aortic aneurysm. The management of an abdominal aortic aneurysm depends on the size of the abdominal aortic aneurysm. An aneurysm less than 5.5 cm in diameter is observed with frequent ultrasound follow-ups. The frequency of ultrasound follow-up depends on the size of the aneurysm. If the aneurysm is 3 to 3.9 cm, you must repeat the ultrasound every 3 years. If it is 4 to 4.9 cm, do an ultrasound every 12 months. If it is 5 to 5.4 cm, do an ultrasound every 6 months. If the aneurysm is more than 5.5 cm, transfer the patient for surgery. However, if an aneurysm less than 5.5 cm is enlarging at a rate of more than 0.5 cm over 6 months, then you must do surgery. Abdominal aortic aneurysm can lead to complications such as renal failure, lower limb ischemia, and mesenteric ischemia due to decreased blood flow to these organs. The most dangerous complication of an abdominal aortic aneurysm is rupture of the aneurysm. Abdominal aortic aneurysm rupture is a life-threatening complication that requires emergency surgery. This condition presents with severe abdominal pain, syncope and low blood pressure. You can prevent the development of an abdominal aortic aneurysm by quitting smoking, eating a healthy diet, regular exercise, and keeping your blood pressure under control. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.